My name is Greg Kayson. I'm a psychologist. I also teach in doctoral program. I started, I'd say, going more the political route. I actually had the privilege of working for David Mixner uh, when I was just out of college. Did political public relations and also did National Coming Out Day. Um, the first one, I was a national coordinator. I wanted to go to graduate school, so I just took the leap and went back to graduate school and went through the whole process and became a psychologist. And then I took several jobs after that. Now I have a full-time private practice and teach. Yeah, I do think gay and lesbian people, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, all the sexual minorities, it would be very good to have us to bond together and to mix together. I think a problem is all of us grow up in families and often in networks where we don't have people that share some of our same likes or dislikes. And so when we find each other as a community, it is helpful to bond together and to be able to help each other to move forward. I'd definitely be interested in mentoring GLBT people in my career field. I think I've done that over the years in many ways and I even do volunteer one day a week um, where I do supervision and training at a community health center. I think working with David Mixner was a very formative experience in my life because I actually saw a gay man who was out, who worked with some of the most powerful people in the world and who really achieved what he wanted and didn't compromise, um, that helped me to know that I could do the same. Yes, I've just experienced discrimination in my life. I think we all have to acknowledge that discrimination exists and just keep wording, working against it. I mean, would you want to work for a company that didn't want gay people working there? Well, I imagine I'll visit the .429 website and see who else is on there. Some of the most exciting projects I've been involved in have been through things like social networking websites. So it's good to find something of a high quality that you just want to focus on because there's just so many choices. Well, if you could have a set date and time to actually go and I'll see you at the event and meet people there, that would really facilitate a great deal of connection. But what I do for fun, you know, I have a, I have a partner and, uh, and I like just hanging out at home. I have to say I'm of that age. I work out a great deal. Um, that's one thing I do for fun that kind of sets it apart. I like to write. I like to read. And, and you know what? Honestly, I find teaching fun. But the bottom line is that relationships are the key to personal happiness. Now I'm trying to take a lot more time to focus on my relationship at home with my family, um, with my parents, and, and with my nieces and nephews, and my friends around me. So as I develop those relationships, I think it'll be even more, even happier.